see, because she was a naughty dog, they made you leave the room. Oh. In the case of Warner versus Warner, the court grants an interlocutory decree of divorce in favor of the plaintiff, Lucy Warner. The divorce is not further contested. It will come final 90 days from the state. The plaintiff and the defendant will then be at liberty to make other marriages, if such be their desire. Uh, one moment, Your Honor. There's a matter still unsettled. The matter about, uh, uh, Mr. Smith. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith. Who is Mr. Smith? Uh, Mr. Smith is their dog. Oh, Mr. Smith is my dog. Is that so? Uh, silence. But you see, Mr. Smith belongs to me and she has him. Very well, go ahead with the matter. The animal is now in the possession of Mrs. Warner. It was he whom you ordered from the courtroom at the beginning of the trial for contempt. Mr. Warner wishes to have him because, uh... Because he's uh, mine. He is not. Oh, he is too. He is not. Silence! He is not. Mrs. Warner, will you stop up here and tell me why you persist in regarding the dog as your personal property in order that the court may Certainly decide whether or not he's to remain in your possession? Nothing would please me more. Your Honor, I saw Mr. Smith first. It was in that pet shop on Madison Avenue. You know the one I mean. Oh, you don't? Oh, it's between 47th and 40th. No, is that... It's frightfully immaterial. Uh, well, you ought to know. Anyway, I decided to buy Mr. Smith, but I turned away for just a moment to look at a Persian kitten. Do you like cats? I don't either. So I turned right around again, and here was this man holding Mr. Smith in his arms. Pardon me, I said, but I'm buying this puppy. And then he just smiled at me. And then somehow, all of a sudden, the three of us were having lunch together, the man and Mr. Smith and I. And then things began to happen rather swiftly. And finally, I said, well, I think we'd better get married. And we did. And that way, we were able to give Mr. Smith a better home and live happily ever after. <laughs> uh, until now. I see. Well, in these custody cases, Mrs. Warner, we frequently allow the final decision to rest with the party in question. You mean Mr. Smith? Send for the dog. Custody of the dog will depend on his own desires. Mr. Warner, will you step up here, please? Yes, Your Honor. Unfasten him. You may each call the dog. Smitty, 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 Oh, well, look, Your Honor, I don't think that's quite fair. I ought to be able to see the dog twice a month or something. I'll take it under advice. Goodbye. Well, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Your Honor. You won't forget to do that, would you, Judge? I'll take it under advisement. Yes, but when will you know? 